In this HWTV Toolkit tutorial, we are going to be setting up our Proxmark 3 RDV4 for use in our Kali Linux environment. To get started, open your terminal emulator and update your system. Next we are going to retrieve the dependencies for compiling and flashing the firmware and running the Proxmark 3 client. This may take a few minutes. Now we can clone the Proxmark 3 repository from RRG onto our system. This next step is very important, you will need to remove or disable modem manager from your system before attempting to flash your device. Failure to do so may result in a critical error when flashing the bootloader, potentially bricking your device. This can be easily done by executing the following command, sudo apt remove modem manager. Once modem manager is successfully removed or disabled, plug your Proxmark 3 into your system using the provided USB cable. The blue LEDs should light up to indicate power as well as one or more of the red LEDs depending on the version of firmware you are currently running on the device. Ensure that the device is recognized by your system. The Proxmark 3 should show up as a USB ACM device under the port TTYACM, followed by a serialized number. In our case, the device is registered as TTYACM0. Before we compile and flash the firmware we are going to want to check for any recent updates by navigating to the Proxmark 3 directory and executing get pull. Now we are ready to compile with the commands make clean and make all. This could take a bit, so grab a snack. Finish the process by installing the files to your system. Once the firmware is compiled, we are going to flash the bootloader image to the device. After the bootloader has successfully flashed, move on to the full image. If completed properly, you should see a printout of some beautiful ASCII art courtesy of Iceman. You are now ready to use your Proxmark 3 RDV4. Accessing the client is as easy as typing the command PM3. If this is your first time using the Proxmark 3, you might want to use the help command to explore all of the different functional modes and commands that the RDV4 is capable of performing. You can continue to explore the device's capabilities and usage by tacking help onto the end of your command in most cases. For more videos on how to use the Proxmark 3 in the lab and the field, stay tuned for more tutorials on using the Proxmark 3 RDV4 on Hacker Warehouse TV. And for the best in RFID hacking devices, make sure to check out our online store at hackerwarehouse.com. Thanks for watching this video and remember, keep it between the laws or at least between the lols.